This video describes a streamlined way to assess particulate organic matter in soils for use in collaborative research and learning to foster sustainable soil management. See the end of the video for more information on what the test means. To conduct this test, you will need a sample of soil, which is usually air dried. Field moist soil will also work if you adjust for soil moisture at the end. A balance with one gram precision and two five liter buckets are also needed. For the washing of the soil, you will also need a small plastic bottle with two millimeter holes drilled around the bottom. A mesh bag is also needed, sewed from mesh with a hole size of 250 microns. This diagram at right shows the way that the bottle and the mesh bag work together to retain only the fraction of soil between 250 microns and 2 millimeter size. To catch the organic matter after washing the soil, you also need a small piece of cloth fixed to a small tube or cut plastic container. First, 100 grams of soil is weighed. If the soil was not previously sieved, then you should pick out larger stones and large pieces of organic matter. Sometimes there is no scale in the field to weigh soil. In this case, you can measure out the soil by volume, and then take the same volume of the same soil in order to weigh it later when you have access to a scale. Next, the 100 gram soil is poured into the sieve bottle, with the sieve bottle already inserted into the bag. Note that the material that falls through the sieve bag onto the table is not important to the measurement of soil particulate organic matter in this procedure. Next, the soil is washed vigorously in the first bucket until only small stones and large residues are left in the sieve bottle and some smaller residues and sand are left in the mesh bag. This may take a few minutes. You should check the completeness of the washing by examining the contents of the sieve bottle, as shown here. After you are satisfied with the washing, the bottle and bag combination is rinsed in the second bucket. You should see only slight cloudiness released into the water and should also see that the mesh bag now contains only sand and particles of organic matter. Now the contents of the mesh bag will be separated between mineral and organic parts or fractions. To prepare for this step, attach the cloth to the tube or cut plastic jar to make a simple filter. If you want to weigh the organic matter later on, you should pre-weigh the dry cloth and write the weight on the cloth as shown. You will also need a simple rinse bottle to move sand and organic matter around. If you don't have one, you can make a very effective one by punching small holes in the top of a flexible plastic drink bottle.
Next, rinse the outside of the sieve bottle into the mesh bag. Next, rinse the contents of the mesh bag into a measuring cup or other open-topped container that will allow pouring off the water and organic matter. The next step is to pour off or decant the organic matter that is floating in the water into the simple cloth filter. Start with the material that is obviously floating and then work to separate the medium density organic matter that is floating just above the mineral material at the bottom of the decanting container. The mineral material will look like sand or small stones. You'll notice with successive repeats of decanting that the organic matter forms a small tongue that advances ahead of the denser sand at the bottom of the, the container. Shaking the decanting container slightly as you pour and watching the different fractions separate will help this process. Finally, detach the rubber bands of the cloth filter and wash any material on the sides of the filter onto the cloth. Then move all the material to the center of the cloth to form a circle, which is about one layer or one to two millimeters thick. The diameter of this circle will give a qualitative rating of the amount of organic matter. The first way to evaluate the amount of POM, or particulate organic matter, is a quick qualitative rating based on the amount of material washed out using the diameter of the circle on the filter cloth, which can either be wet or dry. This diameter measurement is compared to a rating chart like the one shown from the toolkit manual we have prepared which is based on experience with a range of soils that have different palm contents. If you have access to a precision balance with either one one hundredth of a gram or one milligram precision, you can also dry the palm inside the cloth and weigh it. Since it is easy to dry palm in this way, it may be useful to dry and keep the sample in any case so that the palm can be weighed at some future point.
Once the palm is weighed and the tear weight of the cloth is known, the percentage palm in the soil can be calculated as shown here. To close this video, we show some additional considerations about the function of particulate organic matter in the soil, and how we think that measuring it may help to generate additional motivation and learning about improvements to soil management.